Okay, let's see if this works. Um, yeah, I was upstairs just um, watering my ivy plant, and uh, which is in the same room with um, a lot of my miniature stuff, and I was thinking about Charles with his uh, getting, um, doing his river tiles. I know this is not the same scale, not by a long shot, that's for sure, and a completely different um, uh, approach of doing it, but I wanted to uh, show you and also um, show you, I guess, one of my, what would you call it, the bucket list things I would love to do at some point. I'm just going to bring some of this stuff over. Yeah, okay, well, first of all, I'll show you this. So this is the board, and I do not recommend ever using drywall. It was just a piece of drywall that I had uh, downstairs, and I would never in a million years recommend using this stuff. Uh, God, does it ever like soaking up moisture. So anyways, what I wanted to do uh, way back when um, was have a very small scale um, uh, way uh, for miniatures to do uh, miniatures uh, so I could do like mass battles um, uh, there we go so so and I also wanted to uh, get away from uh, doing constant measuring so I wanted to get into uh, a, a grid based thing or a hex based uh, situation I guess in the long run I wish I had gone hex based but anyways I, 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 I'm using uh, squares and you'll see, I don't know if you can really see that, but very faint. There's these little dots I put in. There, I don't know if you can see them. But they're very kind of faint. But anyways, they're all there. So they, like you can put your, I still wanted to have the grid there, but not like so blatant. Um, so there we go. It's about uh, two by two or so. I have to check, but I don't have a, do I have a, Yes, I do. Hold on. And yet again, it's just a piece of drywall I had. No, it's 28. So it's 28 by 28. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's 28 by 28. Yeah, it's a, just a piece of leftover drywall I had um, downstairs. I would never, um, ever in a million years uh, suggest using this. But what I would like to do someday is this is a box that I found at a dollar st uh, thrift store and I would love someday to be able to put um, an entire small scale army, uh, two armies with the terrain piece, uh, tiles and um, uh, the maps all in here with the rules and you can see it uh, they both come out like that yeah I stripped out whatever the heck was in here I was like oh my god you, you just look lovely um, and I guess you can put stuff up to where it gets flush, I guess. That's how it works. Um, I haven't, you know, like I said, I haven't tried it out yet. But that's uh, on the bucket list thingamajig. I'll show you also my inspirations or what got me going or has re really helped me out. One of the biggies for sure. I'll show you the book. And I purchased the PDF years ago. Then I ended up uh, purchasing the, oh wow. I did... Uh, that's from the summertime. Um, anyways, is the uh, solo wargaming guide. Um, I ended up uh, getting it, um, like I said, PDF many years ago. But uh, what got me to, I found it hard to understand or comprehend for me. And what uh, cracked the nut actually was... Um, and it was complete coincidence because I was looking uh, for any but anybody doing YouTube videos on two by two wargaming, and it was just by sheer coincidence that uh, the channel, the Joy of Wargaming, that person was using two by two uh, wargaming rules, the Napoleonic rules, and decided to also use the solo wargaming guide. He was uh, using it for his uh, fictitious world, and that's what I wanted to do as well. So. He, uh, without that person, uh, yeah, I was like, okay, I'll give this a shot again. Uh, also, this book really helped quite a bit. Uh, the Portable uh, War Game by Bob uh, Cordery. Uh, just fantastic. Really quick read. Uh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, he's done a few others. He's got a good forum. I'll try to um, post his, um, like, I'll try to get, pop all the links that I can. 
as much as possible. And then there's also this one which he did, it's a bit more specific, the portable uh, uh, Napoleonic War game. Um, yeah, really good stuff. Uh, also this one, not so much the rule systems, uh, the rule system even though I do like them, it's more the scenarios at the back of the book. Uh, uh, the one hour war games, it's really good. Anyways, and also I'll show you the other rule systems that uh, yeah, like everything in my house or anything game related, this used to be in a binder and what a nice stuff. Uh, but um, it got commandeered by uh, Der Velkrieg. So that's one thing, the Napoleonic rules. I can't remember where I found that, obviously online, but I uh, stole a little Dickens out of that. There's part of my fake, uh, one of my fake uh, nations, the Grand Duchy of Havelfar. Uh, yet again stolen, and the ruler's Archduke Jarvis, and uh, blah blah blah. Where's the other one? Principal uh, Principality of Valka with uh, Queen Fahia. And then I had to do all the like the, the troop types and all that stuff, and uh, spread, you know, to find out like distances and you know travel times, uh, different times of the year, all that stuff. There's the two by two Napoleonics. Um, rule system that I found uh, extremely uh, helpful as well as this um, grid based wargaming I found that uh, online it's uh, part of miniature wargames magazine and uh, I uh, subscribed to it at the time or bought that issue and uh, just said okay you know what I'm going to uh, print that out and uh, pop it out. No, I'll show you my army uh, stuff quick. Uh, Lee, uh, let's see, I gotta see the battery. It seems to be, yeah, I'm using the generic battery. So like I said, this is, um, oh, it's all 3D printed. And it's all, uh, all the figures are actually the same thing. All I did was manipulate them a little bit. And look, I'm not, uh, and same thing with the flags. Um, you can see here, for example, so that would be like an elite, um, an elite unit, uh, elite infantry unit, just the ones with the, uh, the flags, and then same, they're exact, it's two millimeter-ish, I wouldn't really say it's two millimeter, and these guys are artillery pieces, um, and it doesn't matter, they fit a grid, as long as they fit the grid, it's, you know, they're in the grid, it's okay. Uh, these things are cavalry, just regular old everyday cavalry. So you can see, it's just like the blue team versus the red team. Uh, for now until uh, what else do I also have some skirmishing like I said I mean these guys you can just poke them out if I wanted to just pop them out I can make them more skirmish looking or light infantry or maybe it's um, you decided to like I just use those little rock bits as a different form of identifier but you still have like I-20, CO2, AO2 whatever you want um, you get the idea they also have uh, little headquarter things and the flags are just flags that I liked you know, it's not, um, it's not, uh, you know, any, any, nothing historical, what so flipping ever. And then, like, you know, I've also got the red guys. It's all been 3D printed. They were super duper easy to do. And then obviously I just flocked the living dickens out of everything. But uh, I think you get the idea. Hold on. Yeah, oh, hold on, there we go. So... Yeah, and I've got enough, you know, I mean, I can keep going, obviously, the 3D printer, I mean, it's, I've got the file, so it's, I mean, those are, you know, ridiculous. I think originally these uh, figures actually were like 15 millimeter or something or other, and I just scaled them down to nothing, and uh, who cares? Um, let's see, if you, I mean, good God, you know, just painted them up super duper ultra quick, I don't know if you can... That's going to come out very well or not, but it doesn't matter at that scale. You know, I'm just mass producing, you know, crazy bits. Uh, same as the artillery pieces. I was just like, yeah, that kind of looks like artillery from a distance, as if it is. It's the same people. Just paint them all black. Uh, the tray pieces I loved, and I told Zoe way back when, uh, geez, um, I didn't do it ASL-wise. Like, you know, you could just, no matter what you do, you put together... Um, it would be fine. Um, I wish I had. Because then it would, because uh, I had to number a lot of the rivers uh, because they don't connect all together. But 
God, they were fun to do. So the rivers, yet again, it's all 3D printed. It's just what I did was afterwards I used PVA glue and then um, you go to the craft store and get the, the different colored sand. So that's blue sand. Oh, let's see here. Let's grab some. I have to look in the back. That's the problem. But I can do the whole. Uh, so that's four and three. So you just match up the... I can't do that one. But most of them are pretty... Oh, here. That should be fine. You get the idea. Maybe something like that. And then, you know, I've got curves and I've got bends. Um, and so on and so forth. Um, so you can, you know, I can go all over the place. Um, I think you get the idea. Yep. Um, and you, like I said, so I can do different scenarios. So it was fun to do the, um, the one hour wargaming scenario. What else do I also have? I think you can remember seeing some of these guys. Remember this bridge? I think you do. So I've got that one, but uh, and I like to remove the bridge because you can wipe out a bridge and you know stuff like that. But I've also got like um, you know maybe a chateau or a smaller town, and then your uh, your little micro village, and then here. So you can just put them down if you want. Um, here's another one, and then also what else? Um, I also did some hills. Um, there yeah. so it's just rocks, or cat litter actually, and uh, there you can just, you know, I can orient it, whatever the heck, which way I want, and then I also have some woods, Zoe loves the woods, I don't know why, but, uh, so there you go. I also didn't, like at the time, I wasn't, sh like I said, I was getting away from this crazy drywall thing. So I was like, okay, you're just going to do grid. Like, you can just set it up, whatever. Um, so I started doing clear ones as well. And I don't know why I keep doing these freaking border, green border around the thing. I don't know if for segregation or what, but um, yeah. And then, you know, of course, later, if I was going to do it, I just pop them on to whatever or take them off. I don't know. Like I said, it's I only ever played... Um, uh, played I think two games with this uh, setup and then I, I could already see my mind starting to uh, drift off towards well you could see I'm starting to get into grids and so on and so forth uh, getting towards uh, uh, board gaming uh, yeah I'll show you the map quickly if I can find it this crazy ass map so yeah that's a uh, it was funny when Rob would come over way back when uh, and take a look at it. When he would see it there, he was like, well, like when it was still up before Der Velkrieg uh, commandeered the map, uh, that whiteboard over there, uh, he was always like, oh, that cool little thing. I'm like, oh my gosh. Whatever. Uh, I'm, well, thank you. So um, that's that. Um, a lot can be had in a small spot, but um, I'm starting to already figure out how I can do... I'm just going to make um, my own map overlays, I think. Um, and just go that way and try to figure out eventually. But, uh, yeah, it's fun. All right. Hope you're having a good Sunday. See ya.